Hello, horror fans, and welcome back to Horror Drunk. Uh, we are going to be starting a new series this month in the month of October, spooky month as it is, uh, where we're going to start reading, hopefully, a new scary story uh, every day for the month of October. We're going to be starting with a creepypasta that I read when I was younger that really kind of creeped me out. Uh, but without further ado, enjoy the scare. The Thing in the Window. Original author unknown. Originally uploaded to Creepypasta Wiki, August 17th, 2010. I'm pretty freaked out. That thing has been there for almost a week. The figure in the window. It looks featureless, just skin on a human frame. It's pressing itself against the glass somehow. I don't know how it got there, and I don't know how to get rid of it. At first I thought it was a prank, a doll or mannequin that some jerks had put there to scare me. But I realized as I walked outside my house to pull it away, it wasn't there. I shrugged it off, thinking that someone had hidden it while I was on my way out. But I came back in, went to the same window, it was looking in again, staring at me. I walked around my house yelling for whoever was behind it to come out, but no one was there. The thing is hairless and naked. It doesn't look like it actually has eyes or even a face at all. Its head turns towards me when I enter the room. As I sit on my computer, I can feel its faceless hatred pouring into my neck. But when I turn around, it's innocently facing a different direction. Finally, on Thursday, I tried to open the window, but it was stuck. I think the thing's hands were keeping it down. I got a good look at its face, at least. Its eyes and mouth are behind the skin, pushing outward. It stared at me, smiling. I pulled back a fist and smashed it against the glass, determined once and for all to get rid of the glaring monster. I knew I was strong enough. That glass should have cracked. But it didn't. It shuddered under my hand, but it didn't break. And that smile just got wider and wider and wider until I thought the thing's head would break in half. It raised its own hand and bashed the window with its palm. It was mocking me, and I saw the faintest crack begin to appear where it had hit. I backed away. No way did I want that smile in the same room as me. I got a roll of duct tape and started covering the window. I couldn't look directly at it. I nearly shit my pants just knowing it was watching me but I couldn't help it. I took a quick glance at the skin-covered face. A small peek. It was angry. That menacing grin was now a gaping frown full of teeth. The skin had been ripped away from its mouth, and I could see down its cavernous throat. A menacing rumble started to fill the house, and that hairline crack spread like splintering ice. I pulled down the duct tape. The rumble stopped. The split skin healed over, and it began to smile again. Now it's night, and the noise hasn't started again. There are no noises, no rumble, no cracking glass. Everything is quiet now. But I can feel its claws gripping the back of my chair. I can hear its skin stretching as it smiles. It's watching me type. 